I thank you, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chief Justice, members of the House and Senate. I appreciate very much the opportunity to join you in uh, dedicating this building today to Speaker Sam Rayburn. We uh, say in this country that ours is a government of laws, uh, not of men. And uh, it is in the sense that we strive for uh, equality and integrity in the administration uh, of our government and of justice. But this is also a government of men. And it needs a men of uh, particular talents uh, to make this system of ours work. Our founding fathers, concerned about the centralization of authority, which they were revolting against, wrote very careful uh, safeguards, checks and balances, into the American constitutional system. This provides uh, great protection for individual liberty and rights, but it also places a heavy burden upon the men and women who must make this system operate. The division of powers between the executive, the Congress, the courts, the divisions between uh, the national government and the state government requires uh, the greatest comedy between the various bodies if our system is to function effectively. Sam Rayburn understood this uh, perhaps as well as any man in the history of our country. Presidents of uh, both parties pay equal tribute to him, while his devotion to his own party was never uh, questioned. Nevertheless, in a, he saw in a larger sense the necessity for harmonious relations between the various branches of the government. And therefore, I would be joined uh, today by all of my predecessors with whom he served, I know, in paying tribute to him and to the traditions which have been so, uh, have been followed with such distinction by others in his wake, in attempting to make uh, this system of ours work, to protect uh, the individual, but also to make the government function. This was his uh, great skill and his lasting uh, contribution, and I think uh, sets the most powerful example before us all. This ceremony, this edifice, uh, this assemblage, of public servants from all branches of the government, all states and all parties, pay homage to the memory of Speaker Sam Rabin. No monument, no memorial, no statue would please him half so much, I believe, as to have his name preserved here in this fashion on Capitol Hill. The Congress was his life, the House was his home, and he not only served it far longer than any who preceded him, but with distinction and wisdom as well. He preferred to preside over the sessions of this body to any other place of prestige or power. And as a former member of the House of Representatives, I join with all of you in saying that while he may be long missed, he will not be forgotten. And our task is to carry on the work to which he was so deeply dedicated.